when you come to the mission, you're not homeless. You're home. Let's get better. For a lot of the homeless people, they need to know that somebody cares about them. They need a safe place. And if we can show people that we love and care for them tangibly, it's a game changer. The empowerment of having voice and choice in their community, it's, it's just been so huge. This guard, it starts to break, it starts to come down, and then they're smiling more, they're laughing more, and you just see them like starting to talk with other people and build that community. What would you do if everything was taken from you and all you had was God? If everything was stripped away? So to have nothing is everything. It really strips away your illusions. Just because people have different stories doesn't mean we all don't breathe the same air, bleed the same color. We, we're all still people. When our guests come in off the streets, we smile and say welcome, you know, and you get to give them like pajamas, a bed, you know, food. We have a kitchen that serves about 125,000 meals a year. We have a men's center, which houses up to 125 men. And then we have mercy nights, discipleship, job placements, social work. Then we have the women's center that handles 48 women at the moment and a bunch of kids. We have three community health workers that actually go out into the community and help people in the neighborhoods. Food boxes, free clothing and shoes in the thrift store, case managers, community health workers, the people who have the different skills and talents to then create that climate of stability for the people. The treatments that we can help them with, or getting them wraparound services. So we gather these resources and then we deal with the person as an individual. Teach them how to wash a dish, how to make their bed, and just that simple stuff, but walking hand in hand with them until they get it, until they catch on. And as we're walking with the person as an individual, we find out what's the thing causing you to get stuck. We're treating people as people and not just as projects to get them out of being homeless. So that's what our outreach team and that's what our CHWs do is to walk alongside of them beyond just the walls of the mission and beyond just the basic care that's taken care of here. Um, we're going to exceed the expectation. So our team here is not living for success. We're living for significance just pouring out with their hearts businesses that are stepping up and joining the mission to help us help others. It's pretty great. When I had everything about 10 years ago, I didn't have anything. And now that I have nothing, I've got everything. We're all needing the same things from this life. We all want to be heard and loved and valued and respected. And, you know, just, it's so basic. They have goals and dreams like everybody else does. And if people are constantly putting you in a box and telling you you're only this, you know, this is all you can do, you're probably not going to strive to be better or do better. A lot of people see like the alcohol or the drugs and that's all they see. They don't see the person that has had trauma or has been in foster care or has been abused or has been human trafficked. And it's like, that's not who they are and that's not their identity. People that you see on the streets for year after year after year after year after year, it typically comes from not wanting to ask for help. It's that warm shower, it's that warm meal that really shows our guests, yes, we do care for you. We need to have real compassion. You can't just be here, here's some clothes or here's some food. It's gotta be from the heart and doing it out of a love for people. They're loved, they're cared for, they're sheltered, they're showered, they're fed. Right? They have all those things, and that's what you get in a home. I don't need to help them hit a home run right now. I need to help them get a hit. I need to help them get on base. Give them the confidence, like, yes, they can do this. Yes, you can get a job. Yes, you, you, know, you can have your own place and help them succeed because we want the best for them. Homelessness is not created by homeless people. Homelessness is created by systems that don't work. And so we as a community need to come around and support people because it's not their problem or someone else's problem, it's all of our problem. When people come in here, the biggest thing they say to me is, I never knew. I never knew. I think all people should come to the mission and visit 
there is a place for everyone here. Be part of the solution. There's a part of me that just doesn't feel like I'm worthy, you know, like I deserve it. For all the blessings that I've seen in just this little bit of time, I can't imagine the things I haven't seen. 